Looking back sometimes allows us to move forward. It's part of growing up. Inside Firehouse 17 in Highlands Ranch, Zach Goldich talks about the summer he was 17. You know, I was 17 when this happened, and I know little of the world. I know, I knew about football, and I knew about high school. And, you know, you, I, I, I was just a kid learning about the world, and I learned a lot, um, just how people can, can reach out and the physical presence of somebody being there. Teenage Zach went to the movies that July night and nearly died. He was shot in the neck. Never saw an ambulance, never saw a fire truck. Um, maybe that was because of you know, how far I had ran away. Um, and maybe it was, it was pure just like not, not looking up and, and seeing them, but at the end of the day, I, I never saw them. Some road workers got him into a police car and he was rushed to the hospital. The memories pop up every single day. Um, how frequent they pop up just kind of depends on what, what's happening, who I'm talking to, what I'm talking about. Um, but I've, I've learned to live with it and I'm, I grow with it. Grow with it. For years, growing meant playing. Football was the center of Zach's life, from Gateway High School to CSU and the NFL, the dream achieved. All of his success, though, came with a resume. I know early on it was, it was, that was a tough concept for me to grasp. It was something that I, I tended to push away. Um, I didn't really know how to handle that, you know, the significance of it and the real meaning of it. And you know, 10 years later, I look back at that and it's, it's pretty, I think it's pretty incredible because that day, yet tragic, showed a lot of good. I mean. The goodness of people he knew and didn't know. They were there for a teenager and they are a part of him. I read a quote one time and it said, if you're not inspired by your own story, then maybe you need to start writing. And you know, there's something that you need to start doing. The teenage football player is now a first responder, fully aware and prepared for the next tragedy. I know it's not gonna happen the way we, we trained for it, um, but I, I have empathy for those people, um, and I think that's where I will be able to help the most. The gift of time, it's giving Zach the chance to be his best self. My buckets are filled being able to do this job, and so, you know, just continuously being better than I was yesterday, um, and, and doing it with a smile, you know, doing it with effort, discipline, gratitude, and empathy. On Saturday, the 720 Foundation will host the first annual Heroes Journey 5K Run Walk. The course goes through Aurora City Center and culminates at the 720 Memorial Reflection Garden. And this run will support the Zach Goldich Opportunity Scholarship for a high school student in Aurora to achieve a college degree.